Finally here tonight, it was an act of kindness and respect captured on camera and shared by millions. Jim Axelrod has the backstory. By now, you may have seen this picture as the body of Watasha Carter made its way through a rainy Birmingham, Alabama this past Saturday. It was a tough day for everyone here in Birmingham and Alabama and Jefferson County. It was a tough day. A sheriff's deputy named Tiffany Dial stood saluting the casket of the police sergeant who'd been gunned down on duty. I was representing my shift. I was the only one available to go out there. So I was representing everybody. In a city mourning the worst came a small reminder of our best. I really think it was just, you know, manners. The man never said a word to Deputy Dial, not for 45 minutes while he held the umbrella, with both standing in front of a memorial to fallen police officers. I didn't want her to get wet while I stood there dry. The man was Sean Allen, a deputy district attorney, Two days after spending three quarters of an hour standing next to each other, Hi. the two Sean finally Allen. met. Nice to meet you. Come here, give me a hug. Happy as he was to do the right thing, Alan doesn't want that to overshadow why they were there in the first place. My intention was never to get attention. My intention was to pay my respects to Sergeant Carter and uh, to help this deputy who was paying her respects to Sergeant Carter. Tonight, Birmingham is still somber though steadied by the gesture of Sean Allen, who harnessed the meaning of a moment to cut through its gloom with a ray of light. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, New York. That is the CBS City News for tonight. I'm Jeff Glor. We will see you tomorrow. Have a good night.